Bramble Scramble, requested by Patrick UI. According to the description, this level is based on the level from Donkey Kong Country 2 of the same name. So we'll see how it holds up. Was not expecting to see some low gravity here. This is supposed to be Bramble Scramble, not Low G Labyrinth! So far, the level is sort of reminiscent. This is gonna be a tight jump, though. We all know how big those hitboxes are on the spike blocks. But looks like we're gonna have to thread the needle here. Looking for the right height here. That looks about right. Ooh! It's like a just... There we go. Those are not comfortable jumps to make. I would have liked that to be a little wider. Excuse me, please. I think the uh, spikes are meant to be crooks. I... Uh, I'm guessing the feather is supposed to be representing squawks? Oh, this might be a bonus, actually. I believe now it is time to destroy them all! What, no crab coin? <laughs> guessing there's nothing up- Ooh! Do we have secrets up there? If I can get up there... No, I can't go that high. Very well. Righto, let's see what we've got going on down here. Oh, right, Yoshi can walk on spikes. Similarly, you can go on the bottoms of spikes in uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 when you're riding on squawks. Oh, landing on Yoshi's a little harder without the... Uh, with gravity like this. I have to be careful about how I push forward here. Ugh, move. <laughs> okay, checkpoint. That's gonna be another tight jump there. We'll give it a try. Ugh. Oh, that didn't work out. But we can invincibility frame right through there. Uh, I don't see you uh, getting through this, Red Yoshi, so goodbye. Wonder if he's meant to be Quawks. <laughs> you know, the purple parrot. That'd be funny if it is. It also dawned on me that Caped Mario is probably meant to be Dixie's, uh, hovering ability, and we've already lost it. <laughs> so far, the ugh, level design is not really reminding me too much of, uh, Bramble Scramble. Like, I don't recognize a lot of the parts here. That's part of the problem. I didn't recognize that last bit at all. I do think this level does need some work, though, because aside from the very tight jumps that you have to make getting between the spikes at some point, there's also not really a whole lot that you can see on screen that tells you where you need to go, so I, I felt like I was doing a lot of blind jumping there. Pair that with the tough jumps that you have to make and the general empty feeling of the level as a whole, this level could be so much more. Unfortunately, I have to give this a Koopa rating, but it does have the potential to be something great if you work at it some more. Thank you for sharing.